Sam Sessa joined by Marsha Ball here in her studio in Austin, Texas for WTMD. Marsha, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. You're very welcome. Thank you. There's a line that comes very early in your new album that says, uh, it's not about the destination, it's the trip. Right. I'm paraphrasing it a little bit there. But I want to talk to you about your trip because uh, you've been here for so long and you've seen the, the music scene in Austin change, I'm assuming, over the course of the past couple of decades. Can you tell us how you got here? Because I heard it's a pretty fun story. Well, yeah, um, we were going to San Francisco. We were fleeing the uh, conservative South and going to the, to the hip West Coast. And we stopped in Austin because uh, a lot of our friends had come here before us and had stopped here. And um, we were going to visit and we were going to have our Austin Healy Sprite worked on. And within about three days, of sightseeing and going to the lake and hanging around and visiting with our friends and having one person say, if you just come over to the University of Texas, you can get a job. I mean, we just never left. What was the music scene like back then? Well, it wasn't a scene per se. Um, there were bands and there were clubs, but um, what happened that the explosion of Austin music probably began within a couple of years. I guess the beginning of it, though, may have been the opening of the Armadillo World Headquarters, and that did happen in 1970. Um, he started, among other things, with a play uh, written by some guys from Louisiana, and the music was done by a band from Baton Rouge who were our friends. And so all of a sudden, although we were new in town, we were kind of hooked up with the, uh, the new big venue. And these guys were staying at our house, and we were going to the play. And uh, ultimately, they went to Broadway with the play. And the Armadillo, though, was around for ten years, and it, um, of course, was the scene that brought um, everybody. You can imagine. I mean, you just have to Google it to see um, the, the history of it. I think last year there were, I think it was 900 bands that played. They did a week of music on KUT here that was a song by each of the bands that had played at the Armadillo. You know, Bruce Springsteen for six dollars oh, with Alvin Crow. And it was like the um, the Family Dog or, or uh, the Fillmore out in California. Uh, they would pair Freddie King with my band, which was a country band. So they, they put uh, Willie Nelson and, and some rock and roll band for Austin. And it is where Willie came and played for all the hippies. And the story is he called Waylon Jennings and said, hey man, you have got to come down and see what's going on here. And I said, all these redneck hippies with cowboy boots and long hair. <laughs> Okay. 
Marsha Ball in our home studio on WTMD. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.